वेलकम बैक वन मोर टाइम दिस टाइम विद मेघा गोयल टू ऑल द प्रॉब्लम्स टू योर सोल्यूशंस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कवर द बैक एक्सरसाइज ऑफ चैप्टर थ्री ऑफ एन सी आर टी क्लास एट दैट इज वी विल सॉल्व ऑल द क्वेश्चन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज थ्री पॉइंट वन विद डिफरेंट कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ क्वाड्रिलेटरल्स सो स्टार्टिंग विद द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इट सेज given here are some figures so if you will open your textbooks you will be seeing many figures given to you and we have to classify all the figures under simple curve under simple closed curve and many others for here i have already classified all the diagrams for you you can just cross check your answers from the given diagrams over here so number 1 under simple curve all these figures will come you can check your answers whether you have also write all these figures under simple curve second part among the following figures we have to classify the figures under simple closed curve so all these figures will also come under simple closed curves and from this we can also say that figures under simple curve and figures under simple closed curves are same because they are same in next we have to classify the following figures under polygons so under polygons we have three figures this this and this you can cross check your answers as well and the d part we uh, among the following figures which was given in the question we have to classify the figures under convex polygons so under convex polygons we have two figures this and this coming to the second part of the question it says how many diagonals does each of the following have a part a convex quadrilateral this is your convex quadrilateral a b c d and diagonals are ac and bd therefore a convex quadrilateral has two diagonals ac and bd next part how many diagonals are there in the regular hexagon a hexagon has how many sides six sides therefore a regular hexagon has nine diagonals how let's check out the figure this is our regular hexagon having 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 six sides if we connect the opposite sides we'll get the diagonal so here in we have nine diagonals number 1 is fd second db third fb fourth is ae fifth is ec sixth is ac and seventh is eb eighth is fc and ninth is ad apart from all the nine diagonals we don't have any other diagonals in a regular hexagon coming to the last part it says we have to find number of diagonals in a triangle we know that triangle have three sides and there are no diagonals in a triangle discussing our third question it says what is the sum of the measures of the angle of a convex quadrilateral and will this property hold true if the quadrilateral is not a convex quadrilateral so in this case let's draw a convex quadrilateral having a b c d as a sides let a b c the convex quadrilateral then we draw diagonal ac okay while drawing the diagonal ac we can see ac is dividing the whole quadrilateral in two equal triangles triangle adc and triangle abc in triangle adc we have angle 1 angle 2 and angle 3 and in triangle abc triangle adc and triangle a b c we have angle 4 plus angle 5 and angle 6 and we can also say that the sum of angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 is 180 degree how by angle sum property of a triangle that is the sum of all the angles in a triangle are 180 degree similarly the sum of triangle abc having angle 4 5 and 6 is also 180 degree 180 degree plus 180 degree gives you 360 degree which means gives you 360 degree hence the sum of measures of triangles of a convex quadrilateral is 360 degree therefore the sum 
of measures of angles of a convex quadrilateral is 360 degree the second part of our question is what if we will apply the same property in the non convex quadrilateral will the property will hold true or not so for this we'll again check out by making a quadrilateral or non convex quadrilateral so here let a b c d is a non convex quadrilateral and then join b d after joining b d we'll get two triangles a b d and triangle b c d in triangle a b d we have angle 1 angle 3 and angle 2 and in triangle b c d we have angle 4 plus angle 5 and angle 6 and the sum of all the angles in triangle a b d is 180 degree using the angle sum property of a triangle similarly in triangle b d c b d c angle 4 plus angle 5 plus angle 6 is equal to 180 degree now if we add both the triangles triangle abd and triangle bcd we get the equation as angle 1 plus angle 2 plus angle 3 angle 4 plus angle 5 plus angle 6 is equal to 360 degree and from the given figure we can also see that angle 1 plus angle 2 and angle 3 and angle 4 and we uh, after adding both the triangles we get the summation as 360 degree therefore angle a plus angle b that is 3 plus 4 angle c plus angle d that is 2 and 5 gives you 360 degree therefore this property also holds true if the quadrilateral is a non-convex quadrilateral discussing our fourth question it says examine the table this is the table which you have been given and then what can you say about the angle sum of a convex polygon with number of sides so here we have given a table in this we have four different figures number one number two number three and number four each figure is being divided into different triangles as you can see this figure has three sides this has four sides this has five sides and this is this has six sides angle sum of this is 1 into 180 degree angle sum of this figure is 2 into 180 degree angle sum means this angle this angle this angle this angle sum of all these angles is 2 into 180 degree similarly for this figure the sum of all the angles of this figure is 3 into 180 degree and hopes and the same holds true in this figure now find the logic why we have multiplied 180 by 1 2 3 and 4 here we can see if the side is 3 we are multiplying it by 1 if the side is 4 we are multiplying it by 2 if the side is 5 we are multiplying it by 3 and similarly if the side is 6 we are multiplying it by 4 that is if we take the sides is equal to n so we can say n minus 2 gives you 1 n minus 2 that is 4 minus 2 gives you 2 n is equal to 5 5 minus 2 gives you 3 therefore we are using a property for finding the angle sum as n minus 2 into 180 degree similarly now we have to tell the angle sum of a convex polygon with number of sides so the a part of the question says what will be the angle sum of a polygon if the number of side is equal to 7 okay we know how to find the angle sum of a polygon whatever will be the n we have to apply the formula n minus 2 into 180 degree here n is 7 7 minus 2 into 180 degree gives you 900 that means if a polygon have 7 sides then the sum of all the angles of that polygon will be 900 similarly we have to tell what will be the angle sum of a polygon if n is equal to 8 same apply the formula n minus 2 into 180 degree 8 minus 2 into 180 degree gives you 1080 and similarly what will be the angle sum when n is equal to 10 then the angle sum of a polygon having side n will be 1440 and d part when n is equal to n then angle sum of a polygon will be what so angle sum of a polygon will be n 
which is equal to n only minus 2 into 180 degrees. So this is a general formula which you have to apply for finding the angle sum of a polygon or any other figure in which we have to find the angle sum of that figure. Discussing our question number 5, it says what is a regular polygon? Second, state the name of a regular polygon of different sides. So, answering the first part of the question, a polygon having all sides of equal length and interior angles of equal sizes is known as regular polygon. Means regular polygons have equal lengths and the interior angle of equal sizes. Interior angles of equal sizes is called a regular polygon. Now we have to tell what is the polygon which have three sides. So a polygon having three sides it's called triangle. One, two, three. Polygon. A polygon having four sides is called quadrilateral. A quadrilateral can be anything. This, this, this or this. A trapezium, a square, a rectangle or a rhombus or even a kite. So a polygon having four sides is called a quadrilateral. A polygon having six sides is called hexagon. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is also a polygon but it is a hexagonal polygon having six sides. Discussing our question number 6, it says find the angle measures x in the following figures. Our first figure is this. As you can see in the video, this is our figure having one angle as 50 degree, second angle as 130 degree, third angle as 120 degree and we have to find x. Now we also know that sum of all the angles in a quadrilateral is 360 degree, right? Therefore, we can say that 50 degree plus 130 degree plus 120 degree plus x is equal to 360 degree. Therefore, we can find x by solving this equation which comes out x is equal to 60 degree. Coming to the second part of the question, we have to find x in this following figure. Now, if we observe the figure very carefully, we can see this angle is 90 degree. Here we can see the perpendicular size that is this angle is 90 degree. Now we have three angles. We have to find the fourth angle which is also very easy because we know all the angles. The sum of all the angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degree. Therefore 90 plus 60 plus 70 plus x is equal to 360 degree. Therefore 200 on solving the equation will get 200 plus x is equal to 360 degree. By simplifying the equation, we'll get x is equal to 140 degrees. Coming to the third part of the question, we have to find first the base interior angles of the given figure and then the angle sum of a polygon. So this is a figure having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 sides, right? And First of all, we have to find the base interior angles. What are base interior angles? This is the base and these are the interior angles. So, how to find these base interior angles? We know that this is a linear equation line, linear line and the sum of angles on the linear line is 180 degree. Sum of angles on a linear line is equal to 180 degree therefore 70 plus this angle let it be y and this is also be y so 70 70 plus y is equal to 180 degree then y is 110 degrees similarly second base interior angle is 180 minus 60 gives you 120 this is second this is first now we have to find the angle sum of this polygon. This polygon have five sides and formula for finding the angle sum of a polygon is n minus 2 into 180 degree where n is equal to 5. So 5 minus 2 into 180 degree gives you 3 into 180 degree. 
which gives you 540 which means the angle of the sum of all the angles in this polygon is 540 degree now we have to find the value of x over here now if we have the sum of all these angles we can easily find the value of x that is 30 plus 110 that is one y plus 120 that is another y plus 2x is equal to 540 degree see here this is the same equation 30 degree plus x plus 110 plus 120 degree plus x gives you 540 degree on solving the equation we'll get 260 degree plus 2x is equal to 540 degree further solving the equation we'll get the value of x as 140 degree coming to the next part of the question we have to find the value of x in this figure and how we will find the value of x in this figure we can only find the value of x if we know the sum of all the angle of this figure and to find the sum we know there are how many sides one two three four five five sides so we can easily find the sum that is 540 degree which means x plus x plus x plus x plus x gives you 540 degree so 5x is equal to 540 de degree then x is equal to 108 degree hence each interior angle of this polygon is having a value of 108 degree in our next question you can already see a figure drawn over here and we have to find the value of x y and z and, and then find the value of x plus y plus z so we can see this is a linear line this is also a linear line and this is also a linear line and we know that the sum of the angles on the linear line is 180 degree sum of linear pair angle is 180 degree that means 90 plus x is equal to 180 degree therefore x is equal to 90 degree similarly z plus 30 is equal to 180 degree therefore z is equal to 150 degree similarly we can also say that the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180 degree so now to find y we have to find this angle so let it be this angle let it be y1 so now angle sum of angles in a triangle is 180 degree therefore 90 plus 30 plus y1 is equal to 180 degree with the solving the equation we'll get y1 as 180 minus 120 degree which comes out to be 60 degree if y1 is 60 degree and these two are making a linear pair therefore y1 plus y is equal to 180 degree which gives a requirement of y as 120 degree now we have to find x plus y plus z if we we have the value of x we have the value of y and we have the value of z we can easily find the sum x plus y plus z that is 90 plus 120 plus 150 which gives us 360 degree coming to the second part of the question we have to find the value of w x y z using the angle sum property if we carefully examine this figure we find that this n is not given and n and w are making a linear pair with itself so first we have to find n because we can easily find the value of x y and z using the linear property that is one uh, z plus 60 is equal to 180 degree but in the case of y we don't know what is the value of n and to find the value of n we know that sum of angles in a quadrilateral is 360 degree therefore 60 plus 80 plus 120 plus n is equal to 360 degree which gives n is equal to 100 now since sum of linear pair is 180 degree w plus 100 is equal to 180 degree x plus 120 is equal to 180 degree y plus 80 is equal to 180 degree and similarly z plus 60 is also 180 degree and we have to find the sum of w x y z right so if we add all this equation what will we get x plus y plus z plus w plus 100 plus 120 plus 80 plus 60 and 180 into 4 times 
which gives us 360 degree plus x plus y plus z plus w. On solving the equation, we will get the value of x plus y plus z plus w as 360 degree. With this question, we have covered all the part of this exercise. In case of any doubt, any query in any of the question discussed above, please feel free to comment in the comment section below. Till then, take care. Bye-bye. Sayonara. Uh, uh, uh.